Downtown Cold Spring Harbor is quiet and quaint, but still action-packed, especially for those who enjoy the outdoors. Cold Spring Harbor State Park is right down the road from Main Street, and it's great for hiking. This is the start of the trail, and once you make it up these stairs, you're on your way to exploring 40 acres of hilly terrain. If you're looking for a more challenging hike than others you'll find across Long Island, this is definitely it. It's also a favorite among dog owners because it's pet friendly. The entire trail is around six miles long. If that's not really your speed and you'd rather relax, this would be a perfect place for a picnic and with a great view since we're right on the water. Fishing, boating, kayaking and paddleboarding are also popular. On Main Street, explore a row of fun shops and boutiques where you'll find great gifts, clothes and home decor. But for those with a sweet tooth, the gourmet whaler is the place to be. It's everything that I loved when I was a kid, it's in the case. Denise Chin took a chance and opened the place eight years ago. I was a personal trainer and I love to bake and eat. And all I did with my clients was talk about food and baking. Now she's turned her passion into profit, serving up breakfast and lunch. She says they're famous for their tacos. But Denise's expertise is the baked goods. I started when I was like five. Um, my cousins told me that I used to force them to eat, to eat my brownies with my easy bake oven. She and one other baker create this entire case full of unique made from scratch sweets. Some of their most popular treats are Denise's take on hostess desserts, like her version of the cupcake and her snowballs. Plus, she's always experimenting and offering something new throughout the seasons. Reporting for Newsday TV in Cold Spring Harbor, I'm Macy Eglund.